Hello to all World Bioeconomy followers from around the globe. Today we have an interview with Timothy Boachuse, who is part of bioproducts innovation company Wudu. Wudu describes itself as a carbon efficient materials company, striving to change the world by enabling its transition to sustainable solutions in order to fight for decarbonization and to help mitigate climate change. As renewable materials will play a leading role, Wudu has chosen to mold and shape natural wood from renewable forestry into materials with extraordinary performance to help industries and corporations meet their cor corporate carbon neutrality commitments. Timothy, great to have you with us today and welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. First of all, that, that's an intriguing name that you have for your company. Can you just tell us why the name Wudu? Absolutely. So uh, Wudu is uh, basically a mix between wood and magic. And since we are actually uh, enhancing nature through technology, we thought it was an appropriate name. Great. Fantastic. Good imagination going on there. Um, can you please describe some of the products you're making at Wudu um, and how they make a difference when it comes to decarbonization and mitigating climate change? Absolutely. So um, wood is one of the oldest material known to mankind. And imagine that through chemistry and physics, we can turn wood into steel, we can turn wood into glass, we can turn wood into, you know, all sorts of materials that uh, are actually part of uh, our supply chain and day to day products. But the reason why I founded the company uh, is that uh, we use materials that were invented millennia ago. For instance, concrete was invented by Romans. Glass was invented by Egyptians. And if we have to fight and we're fighting it um, the, and win the battle against uh, climate change, we have to invent materials uh, that can substitute um, with uh, concrete and glass and steel and all those super carbon emission materials um, with a very favorable carbon footprint. So the products that we are making at Wudu are actually sometimes making wood transparent, sometimes making it as strong as steel, but with a carbon footprint, which is in our case, is seven times lower than glass and 200 times, 229 times to be exact, uh, lower than, uh, than uh, aluminum. Wow. Wow. So, so what are you doing as part of the process? Are you breaking them down into the wood down into fibers or, you know, how are you, how are you doing things? So the, um, we have 50 patents on this technology. We can make a handful of products. And, um, and basically the way we, we treat wood is we take uh, solid wood, like, you know, planks, sheets. I mean, wood that are uh, traditionally used in the woodworking industry. And through chemistry, we uh, extract a molecule which is called lignin. And lignin is re responsible for uh, some of the biggest problems that wood has. For example, insects, they eat lignin specifically. Lignin is what gets oxidized by air and moisture. It's also sensitive to UV. So through removing this molecule and replacing it with another filling compound, you can totally change the face and the properties of uh, this low carbon footprint material and enhancing its properties. Okay, that, that's really interesting. Uh, so, so what do you do with the lignin? Because lignin has also become very important uh, in biomaterials. So, so what do you do with the lignin? So uh, through extracting lignin, we can also break, in, break it down into um, uh, benzene, uh, xylene, and, and so on. So uh, um, specialty uh, chemistry products. We can also turn it into bio-based carbon fiber. We can uh, uh, use it as uh, uh, through methanization and transforming it in, into biogas. But we, we don't do that ourselves. Actually, we focus on making uh, our new materials, but uh, we can sell lignin to mm. different industrials so that they are in charge of converting this lignin into something useful for the environment and the industry. Excellent. So, so basically nothing goes to waste. No. No. Nothing goes to waste. Uh, I, this is the, the plan at scale. But also uh, looking at lignin, we can sell li lignin is uh, approximately 20% of, uh, of wood. So in order to have hundreds of tons of lignin, we need to, you know, uh, process and produce uh, hundreds of thousands of square meters of, uh, of our material. We are not quite there yet, but uh, we are working on it. Cool. Excellent. Fantastic. I'll move on to some other questions we have for you here. 
Um, so can you comment on how important bioproducts like yours are for the health of the planet into the future? So two answers here. First, the carbon footprint of the material. Um, as mentioned, one of our material uh, that is a structural wood piece that has um, strength properties that are three times higher than aluminum, they also, this material also has a carbon footprint, which is 220 times less uh, impact on the planet than aluminum in terms of CO2 emissions. So this is one thing. Another thing is that we, we help revive the forestry sector through um, transforming weak wood species or diseased wood species into advanced material. Because you know that climate change is going to have an impact on, on forests, uh, especially because temperatures are, are rising up. Um, forests are going to be attacked by fungi, insects, and, um, and um, other threats. So more and more trees are going to die. And before they completely collapse and transform into methane, because this is a problem when trees are dying and emitting um, as much uh, so greenhouse gas, uh, we, we want to specifically look at those weak and diseased wood species to transform them into uh, revolutionary new materials. Excellent. So there's a lot of, I mean, it's a bottomless pit of, of things that could be going on, I'm sure. I'm That's sure. right. Excellent. Um, we're at the forum, we have a, a very popular bio product coming, uh, coming up on, on July the 7th. We have it every year. It started last year and it, it proved very popular indeed. Uh, this is when we ask people to submit their favorite bio product. So out of all of those products that you're making, wh which is the one that you think you would enter? Uh, can I have uh, two choices? Why not? <laughs> okay, so we would love to, uh, to showcase one of our material, which is slim. So it's a, a translucent wood material that we make tactile for uh, digital interfaces. And we have a massive market traction in the automotive industry and retail industry uh, for this product. But this is uh, some of our products. So, uh, uh, so we would love to, to, to show it. Uh, if I had to take another company's um, product, I would say Neolit. So Neolit is a rising startup in France, and um, they are actually transforming uh, landfill waste into um, into stone, and uh, and this is quite remarkable. So we share a common DNA with those guys, and uh, this is the other product that I would show uh, at your at your fair. Wow, that's really exciting. So so just to rewind to the first product, is that is that sort of replacing things like iPad screens and things like that? Yes, uh, it's more like a secondary screen, but uh, yes, uh, it's to make digital interfaces and uh, replacing uh, glass and uh, materials that we use for screen devices. Wow, really, really dynamic and looking far ahead. Fantastic, great. Um, we'll be holding our World Bioeconomy Forum uh, in Ruka, Finland in September. Uh, this year with a theme which is talks on climate change. And uh, one of the main pillars that we have is bioproducts around us, and it always gets a lot of attention. We, we invite some lots of innovative companies. Mm. Um, what do you think, uh, what, would you, what would you like to see coming out of the discussions about uh, bioproducts in relation to climate change? What, what discussions would you like to see uh, mm. aired, should we say? Yeah. Um, what I would be mostly interested about uh, is design applied to so product design, product design applied to, to uh, climate change and, um, and, and new products. I'm going to explain myself. For instance, at Voodoo, one of our value, which is very important to us, is to make materials that are carbon efficient, but also beautiful. Because we think there are two types of customers. There are customers that are interested in fighting climate change and they will buy our products. And that are customers that are not interested in that, but they will buy the material because they think it's cool, it's beautiful. And indirectly, they contribute to the environmental cause. So this is very important. And um, to have this uh, bridge between you know, design, the concept of beauty, which is something uh, that, that is extremely important to make business, uh, and also um, performance of, of materials from a, a CO2 footprint, this is what I would be most interested about. That's a really good answer. I mean, I, and I think it's so important that bioproducts have a coolness around them too. I mean, it's so important. If it could have that along with the being underpinned by, you know, the, 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 whole, um, the whole thing of what it's about, that's, that's great. Timothy, okay. that was excellent. Thank you so much for telling us all about Wudu. My pleasure. Thank you for having me and uh, looking forward to, to chat to you again uh, very soon. Excellent. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.